M0FXP, welcome to my channel. I thought I'd show you my APRS setup for my Elinco DJMD5. Now this is the GPS model and the GPS model has been enabled for APRS digital. So get the latest firmware. And so let's just show you my settings. So here we are showing up on APRS FI. As you can see, I've just done this transmission. So it's got Elinco DJMD5 and um, time and call sign and the little running man ETC. So one of the first things you need to do is go on to Brandmeister, the normal Brandmeister account, and click the section that is called self-care, which is here. And in your self-care, this is where you're going to add Chinese radio, or we'll select Chinese radio. Interval 60 seconds we've got here. We've got a little running man as an icon just for tests. All these are off. And then language, we've got English. M0FXB-6, and I've named the radio, Olinko DJ MD5 Andreas. Okay, let's put an A and an S. Yes, there you go. Save. So that's going to help you transmitting on your hotspot. So now move to your hotspot, and just go, make sure you put the same frequency in the channel that we're going to look at as 431.550 simplex uh, digital hotspot, DMR mode, so we'll go to configuration, login, Pistar and Raspberry. Configuration is all here, DMR and Simplex hotspot, see the two little blue dots? I'm using a Nextian screen and just put in here M0FXB, um, definitely need your DMR number and the frequency, crucial. I have got some location stuff in there and I'm using, this is the hat I'm using for the hotspot that I'm on. Uh, so the radio modem type, but yours may be different. So the important thing is Brandmeister here. Look at that Brandmeister uh, and the password that you put into also put into self care. So down here on this page, hotspot security, type in your password, save, and then that same password has to go in here, hotspot security. And I'm pretty sure that you're good to go and see this APRS host enable. I've definitely slid that across that's here. And that's it. And then when you've done that, you can go back to the dashboard. Now we need to look at our channel. So read the radio as usual. You're going to need the uh, USB cable and the correct driver. And once you've read it, you're going to need to create a channel. So go to your channels. And at the bottom, I'll show you the channel that works for me, which is this one here, APRS 460999. I get that talk group number from Alance, believe it or not. So there's your channel. And we're also going to create a zone. So double click your channel. And this, this is the frequency, the same as my hotspot here. Then we've selected the contact. I'm going to show you how to create the contact, the 460999. Your call sign, and I've got color code 1, slot 2 here. And then obviously select the digital channel, mid power I've got. And turn APRS report to on. See this? On. And then APRS report channel 1. So freeze frame that and just sort of copy it or accept put your call sign in. The actual contact, what you're going to need to do is double click talk groups here on the left, look talk groups. Then you can add contacts. To contacts are talk groups. So double click, say a new channel, like so. Put the I just put the number in, you could name it. For 460, let's go 998 this time. And it's a private call for APRS on, that works for me. And then the more important is that you get the, the correct number here, 460. Uh, 998 or it won't work yeah and that's it so that private call the number is the most important thing click OK and you've now got that contact created we may as well now create the zone so double click at the top here you've got zone underneath channel double click and we you got I've created a new zone called APRS so you can find it in the radio you got you select zones and inside the zones you put channels so double click APRS and I've put in the channel there. Now, if I was going to do that from fresh, I would just double click here. We would call it APRS. Let's call it two, so it's not the same name. Then we would select the channel we want to put in it, which is because it's my digital APRS, because this radio, as far as I can see, hasn't got analog APRS, because it's not the new, new model. Uh, select the one you've created early just now and forward it and put it into your zone. Remember, a zone is like a bucket of channels, and each zone has different channels so we got my hotspots or that bucket has my hotspot channels and if I double click there's all my hotspot channels and you know my FM repeaters it's a bucket you're sending channels that you've created into that bucket zone okay anyway so 
that way you'll be able to find it on the radio so then what you do is you turn on send it all to your let's just double check the or one last thing digital APRS information or here on the left so we've created the zone we've put the channel in the zone by just going click across into the zone and now you want to just quickly go to digital APRS information and here this is what worked for me uh, report channel which is number one I selected a the channel that the group that I called APRS sorry the contact the contact that was called APRS I put report one and I've select fixed location so it doesn't need GPS fixed location is on and then I have put in some location details here as well and then also APRS talk group 460999 that has to match what you in the channel private call and slot two and I've clicked OK and that's all work for me once you've got all that in there we can just go to optional settings We'll just show you my GPS settings. GPS on, GPS positioning on. I've left time zone as that for now. Ranging intervals, I, you know, because I'm not doing the auto. This is literally just key the mic and find yourself. GPS template, I've just left it on. These might not be the perfect settings, but they're definitely the settings that work where I showed up on APRS FI. And then finally go program right to radio. Okay, once you've written it to the radio, then when you key the mic, with a bit of luck, we'll just turn on my radio and we'll key the mic. So we just keyed the mic again, you'll see the dashboard go red. It's got my talk group there, target, call sign, time slot two. And if we look at APRS FI, and we've, I know the location's all wrong, but we'll go M0 FX B. Dash six. Now, if I have a GPS lock, it will give my exact location. Search and just click that, and there I am, Alinko. It's the right time, and this, and it's all working great. M zero FXB dash six. I hope this helps you set up your APRS digital DMR for your Alinko DJ five GPS model. Bye for now. Seven three.